we are officially in Zurich and uh, about to walk around the city and check it out and see what it has to offer. Uh, we're gonna go to University Place and catch the tram up to one of the point the <coughs> lookouts so we can um, uh, see the city view from above and then uh, we're gonna explore the city some more but it's a really beautiful city it's very uh, fairy tale-y um, and it's a nice day even though it's January and we'll check in with you guys a little bit later take care mm -hmm. Bye. I won't drop it this time. <laughs> the thing is, you're gonna find cheeses, chocolates, anything mm. also in the grocery store. Yeah. And the standard is very high. And um, we, we have to be better than the yeah, grocery you're store. Right. So we have everything from small producers. You can sample most everything that we have. Yeah. And, uh, and the people who know their stuff can come here. Because there's always so quality to discover. Yeah, of course. And it's, uh, you know, and word has gotten around 
that people who are starting up new things they come with their yeah with their products to me because that's how they're able to get it yeah. out there. Yeah. We have all uh, local products from small producers. Yeah. So Which makes the quality even yes, better. Exactly. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I think people are getting away from mass production. Yeah. Because it's just like. There's no soul to it. No, it's exactly. like it's just. There's no quality in it yeah, at all. Paper, There's you know, no taste. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, we took over the store a year and a half. Oh, this nice. couple ran it for 36 years, and they wanted someone to continue, who um, uh, would um, keep the place like the cheeses and everything. Yeah. At the beginning, we just filled it with the stuff we thought people yeah. would buy. I can't even sell milk in this place. No. People buy, they'll, they'll buy a milk if they forget to buy a milk in the grocery store, but yeah. they will not come in here and buy a milk. Yeah. You know, and so we, you know, the, the meats are like from, from a hunter itself, or or I have yak from a, a farmer in the mountains who has just one um, herd of, of yak that yeah. brings me the meat. Um, so it's like we, a real artisan shop. Yeah, exactly. We have vegan cheese alternatives. Oh, wow. You know, oh, and it seems we're the only cheese store that does that, and it seems so logical to me. Yeah. But, uh, the weather is just, um, I can't stop talking about the weather. It's so amazing today. Look at the little fruits. Oh. Cool. <laughs> that is really cool. Aren't those poisonous? Yeah. So we are walking inside. Now we have Zurich. So I just made my first purchase in German. Mm -hmm. So I bought uh, some groceries from the Lidl back there for about 27 francs. It's about 27 or 28 dollars, which is not bad. It's probably the cheaper option out here. So I wish I found them sooner. But um, if you are in Zurich, you should try to find a Lidl. They are kind of like Trader Joe's in the U.S. or like Lidl in the U.S. Oh, no, I'm sorry, um, Aldi's in the U.S. So, let's try to let this person come out. But yeah, if you can find one, the groceries are a lot cheaper. So yeah, check them out. 